啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。You know, I've driven west on Interstate 44 a zillion times, and I've always seen them. They're always there. They look like they've been there for a thousand years, to tell you the truth. But now, finally, finally, I think I'm going down Interstate 44 at the right time of year. You see the signs up and down the highway near St. James, Missouri, all year long. Grapes, they say. Grapes. Mostly. Grapes. And the stands usually little sheds where they sell grapes, and most of the year, they're closed. But for a month or so in the fall, the stands along the highway open up, as sure a sign of autumn as pick your own apples or a trip to the pumpkin patch. Looking for grapes? And for that month or so, every autumn, when the grapes are here, so is Angie Jones. She's at her stand on the south side of the highway. A stand that smells as sweet as the inside of a jelly jar. You hold it up, as long as you don't cross, yeah. I think we'll, I think we'll go ahead and sell it. Might as well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. We used to sell them to Welch's. Is that right? Oh yeah, we used to sell them to Welch's when Welch's took everybody's grapes up here. Yeah. But they quit that. Oh gosh, 20 years ago, I guess, or more. Now, when most St. Louisans think of wine country. They think of a drive down Highway 94 toward Augusta and Defiance. But the St. James area is wine country too, and it has been for a hundred years. And where there are wineries, there are grapes. Or maybe vice versa. Are you looking for grapes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, what size do you want? This is dollar, this is two, that's four, that's five. Old fashioned con card with the seeds in them. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can taste it if you like. Okay. Angie yeah. Jones has been selling grapes along I-44 for a long, long time. Passers-by honk a greeting. <laughs> She's 86 now. She volunteered that information, by the way. She specializes in grape juice, selling it in bottles. She's recycled bottles of every kind. It's juice. It's not wine. She squeezes grapes for juice at home every night. It's good? It's good. Yeah. It's good for yeah, you, too. Good. When I make it in the evening, better, I have be, to always better have than to the get Coke. Some. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you make it, when you make it, what the grape in, juice? In the evening. Yeah. What do you, what, do you, what did you say? Well, about? I have to drink some usually when I get done. When uh, you generally always have a little bit left over, you know that you yep. don't have a full jar left or something, and then I drink some of it. Well, you know they say red wine yeah. is very good for people. It, yeah. It's very good for your heart. Yeah. So you've been drinking your own grape juice for a long time. Oh gosh, yes. Is that how you got to eighty <laughs> six? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> When politicians and bigwigs talk about small business, they're usually talking about a bigger small than this. This is a business that consists of a lady sitting in the shade under a tarp. A business that's dwarfed even by the trucks going past on the highway. Well, actually there was quite a bit of money to be made in it for a while, but it's slacked off. Yeah. It's slacked off now. I don't know they, they I don't know whether people just don't get want to get their hands dirty messing with the stuff, because yeah. you do get it is, they are messy to make stuff out of, yeah. but they're awful good. <laughs> they're awful good. If you're looking for grapes, that's two dollar yeah. size, and this is a dollar. This is a dollar. Now, I'll just take all some right. of these. You can keep all these bugs, though. Yeah, yeah, they're honey bees. There's a whole bunch of them in the hall. Well, thank you, sir. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. And when there's a lull between customers, Angie Jones sits and waits and reads. And she sings. I even got me a songbook out the other day the, from way back when I went to school, and I love singing those old songs. That was a cowboy song, I think it is. My heart's in Montana, I wear a bandana. My spurs are of silver, my pony is gray. Uh, That's uh, pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good, Angie. <laughs> and, and the second verse is even cuter than that. I love them old songs we used to sing when we went to school. The grape stands along I-44 that seem like they've been here forever opened again this year. And Angie Jones says that a year from now she'll be back whenever the grapes are ready. And hey, if you happen to stop by while she's here, ask her to sing the cowboy song. For HEC-TV, I'm Aaron Mermelstein. <laughs>